All right, Alex, uh, congratulations on uh, signing your contract with the Sydney Kings. Can I ask, first up, what made you think playing in the NBL was going to be better than the US college system? Yeah, I think I just kind of thought about uh, my development as a player, and I think that the Next Stars program and being a part of the Sydney Kings was where I can develop the most, having such great administrators, Luke Longley, Andrew Bogut, as mentors is something that I don't think you can place a value on. That's going to be invaluable to me. And they've been to where I'm ultimately trying to go. So I think having that, those people to talk to and then also being able to play in a professional environment in one of the toughest leagues in the world is going to get me to where I ultimately want to get. Speaking of where you ultimately want to get, is your main aim to get better as a player for now or is it to get as attractive as possible uh, to some NBA scouts for the future? Uh, definitely a combination. Obviously trying to become the best basketballer I can be and trying to help the Sydney Kings win as, win as many games as they can. So if I do all that, then everything else will take care of itself. You talk about those two big names that help with the, the running of the club, uh, particularly probably Andrew Bogut. Uh, was that someone you looked up to as a youngster playing when you were really young, thinking now it's probably a bit strange to be talking to someone like that and signing at a club that he's a part of? Absolutely. Seeing, uh, seeing Bogut kind of win championships at Golden State, dominate the league for such a long time, and now being able to kind of talk to him about my career is something that's really special. I think I'm definitely going to learn from a, a lot from him and Luke Longley as well. Is there anything else in particular about the Sydney Kings that had appealed to you uh, when you could have gone to all these other clubs? Of course, I'm sure there was probably uh, a range of interest in you across, right across the NBL. Yeah, I talked to a few different clubs, kind of came down to the Kings for me, obviously the way that they manage the, the clubs, their players, uh, their history of creating good players. Xavier Cook's probably the most recent example heading off to the NBA, so being able to see how they work with those guys and how the new coach coming in, Mahmoud, how he kind of likes to play and being able to understand he came from an NBA team and he knows what it takes to get there. So trying to learn from him and learn from my teammates that have also been where I'm trying to get. Do you think if it wasn't for this uh, Next Stars program in the NBL that you probably would have gone over to the college system? I think it's hard to say. I think the Next Stars program is obviously great for young guys. Obviously worked with guys like Lamelo, Josh Giddy, uh, Mojave just got drafted as well. So I think it's the Next Stars program is definitely um, a factor in why I chose it. Obviously, the program is historic. And then I think the NBL itself just goes hand in hand with that, playing against pros in a physical league and being able to compete on one of the best stages in the world. So I think it was definitely a mix of things that ultimately led to my decision. Have you spoke to any uh, players that have been a part of the program in the past uh, about this decision before you made it? Yeah, so I got to speak with uh, Josh Giddy which was really cool to understand what his thought process was and how much it helped him in his career. And then talking to Sydney Kings guys on how they, they love the, the city, love the place, love the fans, everything about it. So being able to connect with different people about what they think and then ultimately make up my own decision was really cool. And what did Josh Giddy say to you? I don't want to go into too much depth, but he kind of said uh, it was the best thing he ever did. As you can kind of tell, put him where he wanted to be and then going straight into the professional environment was really kind of changed the way he looked at the game of basketball and it's kind of the way what we see now in the NBA is what he became here and is continuing to develop into. Did part of you as a, as a young fella think, geez, aside, aside from the basketball element, going to university in the States, living that campus life, that would have been pretty fun, even if it was only for a year? Yeah, I think, so my brother actually went and played at a Division Two college, so he spent a full five years there and I heard all, all his stories and how much he enjoyed it and I'm sure I would have enjoyed it as well, but I think it's all about different experiences and I'm going to get a different experience here to what I would over there and obviously seeing in the movies and everything about how college goes and then having a few visits over there, seeing the, the reality, it would have been pretty cool to be a part of, but I'm even more excited about my future here in Sydney. And how has your opinion changed uh, of the NBL over the years from when you were younger, say 13 or 14, uh, watching it growing up uh, as a basketball fan to now uh, as a 19-year-old? Yeah, it's definitely changed. I think as you grow up, you start to look at things a bit differently. And then obviously Canberra didn't have a NBL team, so Sydney was the, the next closest, them and Illawarra. So being able to watch, watch Sydney play and then being able to see the players that play in the league and where they went on to go and just how much it's not adapted, but it's it's such an international game now. They're kind of 
on the same lines as the NBA in play style and how fast they play. I think it's really cool to see that translating. I think that's something that I'm really excited to is jump in, play in their physical league, get used to the play style and try and help the team win.